show your support, like, share and subscribe. Well, hello again. Here, hello. Here we are right. once more. E, number three. <laughs> yeah, I think we've both had eventful weeks this week. Uh, well, in terms of the fairly channels, eventful. Anyway. <laughs> fairly eventful. Yeah, yeah, I did a bonus video. Yeah, <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> I was I was um, doing my bonus video as you posted your bonus video. I was like, ah, <laughs> great minds think alike. <laughs> Indeed, without even like discussing anything to do with bonus videos. No. Well, I think I've done two no. bonus videos now because I did a a live trailer reaction. Um, ah, yes. But, uh, yes, and for the film. Because that was unplanned. Didn't know they were the. Um, didn't know Sony Entertainment were gonna. Is it Sony Entertainment or Warner? But I didn't know that one of the production companies were <laughs> were gonna uh, <laughs> drop the film trailer. So I didn't was... even know there was a film. Yeah, I'd I'd heard rumours, but then that you know I'd heard they'd cast Ryan Reynolds, and then that was it. <laughs> But I'll save that for later. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. So there was that. So I did a trade reaction, and then whilst watching it a couple of times again after that, I realised there were loads of Pokemon in there, reference-wise. I thought, I wonder how many. <laughs> oh, what actual individual characters you mean? Yeah, and it's oh uh, okay. It's quite a lot. Were they all Gen One ones? Because there's a mix, but they are mainly Gen One. Yeah. Because yeah, watching through it, it wasn't like oh, there's a load of things here I don't recognise. So yeah, that was quite nice. I think they've got loads in there, but like the main, what's the word? Yeah, grip of it looks Gen One, so that's all right. Mm. Yeah, you've got you've had a couple come out this week as well. <laughs> yeah, well, I choose his gameplay um, feature as planned anyway, um, and yesterday's um, or yesterday as this goes actually gets released yeah. this Saturday as it will be a uh, review video um, as planned but what with everything that happened Monday, Tuesday night um, and kind of the repercussions of, of Sunday and a show that now I've got absolutely no uh, interest in watching um, I thought well I've kind of slightly missed the window but I managed to finish work a little bit early so I thought well I'll do something and get it out there now and kind of hopefully find some kind of a silver lining fair enough which as it was announced today might be one of the ways that they're planning on going for april so it's not all bad it's just kind of ruined sunday for everyone <laughs> fair enough is that <laughs> yeah. something you're planning to talk about today um not not specifically that no i think i i kind of said everything in the video about Trying to not punch people in the face <laughs> while you're while you're in the middle of a scuffle. Yes, it's supposed to be kind of simulated fighting, but obviously there's throwing worked punches as they're called, and then there's punching somebody in the face and breaking their nose and giving them a concussion. Yeah, there's yeah, there's a few differences. <laughs> yeah, so is the uh, is the review one that came out technically yesterday? <laughs> I'll say yesterday. Is that in the PS yeah. Plus review? No, no, that is a an old NXT takeover show that was held in London. Oh, okay. Funnily enough, so it's my third one of those. So I just thought, well, I did the very very first one, um, and then they did a few in the summer in the same location. So I did the first one of those, and I thought, well, as I am that British guy, let's do the one and only one that they've done over here. Yeah. Fair enough, that makes Seeing sense. Seeing as uh, the main roster never do shows over here, let's do the NXT one. So that was that, and that was 2014, I think, or 15. I can't remember off the top of my head. Because I haven't actually rewatched the show yet as I'm talking to you <laughs> in order to review it. So I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fine. There'll, there'll be time. <laughs> mm. Professionalism. Oh yeah, that's all right. Well, it's like when I had it's like when I had my week off and I planned to do well, like at least film one video a day, and then for four days I did nothing and just sat around and played games, and then for day five I thought, ah, okay, <laughs> <laughs> video <laughs> time. Yeah, record five in two hours and then sit back and play more video games. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. If it, so yeah, I think I've done well as we're recording in about. 
10 minutes time a video will go live so that's interesting nice that'll be the third day in a row that i've done a video as well i don't know what's happened just <laughs> <laughs> i've ended up yeah i think it was just if detective pikachu wasn't here uh, it would mm. this would be my first video in uh, it might even be like first video in a week actually since the um, countries for a region Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, because, yeah, then obviously there was the reactions and then the noticing the different characters in that one trailer, I suppose. So, yeah, yeah, that was just a bit of fun. That was just sort yeah. of two, three hours, just go through. That was a, that was just more for enjoyment rather than, you know, anything else. Yeah. yeah. And then I uh, might have picked something up. Something's probably significant in there. Yeah. So there's that. And then tomorrow I'm planning to record myself playing the first ten minutes of Let's Go when I buy it. Because it's out okay. tomorrow, on day of recording. <laughs> so that should be fun, unless I get. So it's been out. Yeah. So it's technically it's been out for two days. Yeah. What I'm... do you think of it so far? <laughs> oh, great! Yeah, so I, lo- I love I love the 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 third bit. <laughs> the bit where the stuff happens. Yeah, yeah that's really good. That bit. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, I'm gonna you know obviously obviously film the gameplay as well and then a bit of reaction. Mm. Not. Cool. I'm not going to be overly. You know, uh, what's the word? Expressive, because I'm quite monotone and dry as it is. So it'll be more. Uh, it'll be more a case of wandering around my house, my bedroom, the pallet town, going into mm. the lab. You know, that's sort of little ten minutes of it, and just have a. Well, laugh the thing is, as well, you'll be experiencing the game for the first time anyway. So yeah. it's it's always awkward doing those kind of things when you haven't played the game and you don't know. Obviously, you've played like that old version of it, but. Yeah. Everything's been reworked, so you're not. I'm presuming they've kind of altered bits and pieces here and there, just so that it's not a copy and paste of the original game, but with, hey, it looks pretty now. Yeah, it seems like they've changed a lot. Yeah, so it's it's kind of difficult to be overly expressive, at least I find anyway, yeah. while you're experiencing that for the first time. Yeah, I think it'll be a uh, quite enjoyable actually. Hmm. Sounds better than a day at work. <laughs> yeah. Day off work, lovely. My last <laughs> annual leave of the year. So bring on Christmas, yay. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, did you want to kick off proceedings on the uh, official stance? Can do, yeah, if that's uh, if that's all right with you. Yeah, I think it was my turn to go first last time, so... Uh, we'll lovely. <laughs> Nothing like a democracy. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> right, so I kind of... This is based off of um, a video discussion that somebody that I follow on uh, YouTube did. His name is Brian Zane, and he has the Wrestling With Regret channel. Um, If anybody listening is even remotely interested, check him out. He does quite a lot of weird, funny skits, as well as review stuff and interviews and things like that. Um, And he did a video based on intergender wrestling man woman wrestling obviously um and in the comments section of his video and kind of responses that he was then posting on twitter he seemed to get quite a lot of backlash from people uh specifically around two arguments that he was making or two arguments that he was making were kind of heavily countered by a lot of people and he was kind of having to really go to town on defending his initial standpoint okay. so did he have my... a certain um, opinion either way or was he sort of presenting an unbiased view no it was very much um he had an opinion and was kind of defending his opinion that he then carried on defending okay. and um was was basically shooting down anyone that argued against him in i think personally a fair way and i think the arguments that the other people had were kind of a bit childish to be honest and he he was kind of able to not kind of take the high ground with it because i don't really think it was that was required but he was arguing from um a point of sense he's been involved in the business himself personally as a performer and as a manager Um, and as a commentator for, I think, about 12 years. So he's very heavily involved in it. Um, And really what I wanted to do with you was get your initial thoughts on it, 
and then kind of present these arguments that were being made against him one at a time and just see if that kind of changes your thinking really and change your standpoint okay as to how you feel about it okay then. kind of from an outsider's perspective yeah go for it ignore the vibrating that was my phone going off do apologize Fair <laughs> days. that's all right so i mean obviously in terms of just a starting point do you have kind of any thoughts one way or the other as to obviously it's a simulated fight yeah it's men and women in the ring facing off against each other either just one against one or two on two like a, a team of a man and a woman versus a man and a woman or kind of various combinations thereof yeah oh i hadn't even thought of the two on two um well obviously because it's um oh what's the word for it? obviously it's um predetermined mm-hmm I, I, I like how you say that and not fake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's predetermined. Um, unless you get knocked unconscious or a broken nose. Um, mm. It's. I have no problem with the initial, you know, uh, man on, uh, man on woman, or even two two men on two women, or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's it, you know it happens in in other sports like tennis, for example. So <laughs> it's a thing that can happen. I know that, True. Yeah, I know it's not the one uh, thing. The one thing I would argue against that is obviously that's always one man and a woman against a man and a woman. Yeah, true. Whereas obviously you'd never get like Roger Federer versus Serena Williams. Although that would probably be a very good match. <laughs> Actually, I'd watch that. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. but that never happens in legitimate sport. You never get it in a running race. You never get a woman's football team versus a man's football team. No, true. It's only ever. Mixed versus mixed. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, no, I hadn't. Considered and that. the vast majority of this is, usually anyway, is a man versus a woman. Yeah, I think where it's obviously predetermined, like um, like they are. It's if it's done well, then it shouldn't be a problem for me in a on a general scale. If they're mm-hmm. if it's if they've done it to a point where they're really trying to drive the point home there is a a part where it goes beyond the pale if that makes sense like they try yeah. and make too not too big a deal out of it that's the wrong choice entirely but um sort of like they they try and emphasize the point too much you start to become yeah if they're trying to make a point of it being okay if you emphasize yeah. it too much you start to over exaggerate so really just present it as this is a match, this person's facing this person, who's going to win? Yeah. I mean, obviously, Like yeah. they do with any other yeah. I mean, match. You can, like, you can highlight the fact that they're different genders for us. You know, it's, it's not that you have to completely ignore it, but I think there's a perfect line of where it should be. And you need to... I okay. think it, it, as long as it sits in there, then I shouldn't see it being a problem at all, really. Well, the main... There were two main arguments. One was it promotes um, like domestic violence. Right, okay. Um, because obviously there is... I wouldn't say... A, 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 I'll backtrack on that. I was going to say it's not a huge problem. It probably is a bigger problem than people are aware of. Um, on both sides, women being physically and mentally abusive towards men, and obviously the other way around does get reported a lot more. And by and large, there is quite a young audience that would watch this and could potentially see that as okay. Yeah, true. Um, See, his argument against that was, well, it's a simulated fight. Yeah. A man versus a man or a woman against a woman could potentially, if you go down that route, just kind of advertise, if you like, physical violence between people. These two people have an issue with each other. Let's have a fight to see who wins. And I suppose it's probably not, certainly not socially as unacceptable as just somebody assaulting somebody else, but it's still a crime. Yeah in the real world and the argument kind of that he was putting forward was well yeah but this is a simulation it's a sport it's as you say predetermined it's not meant to 
kind of shine a light on society and go, hey, this is a thing that you should do. Let's beat each other up. Yeah, it's not the kind of um, thing that would make a statement. Mm. This is a it's it's the kind of place where people go to escape those sort of things. To be honest, that's what I see. It, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's two characters. Yeah. Because obviously, I telling a I'm, story outside of and inside of the ring. Yeah, because obviously, I think like people like you know like young. 21 year old people like yourself there British guy <laughs> you know they are <laughs> 21 <laughs> I mean you, you're you know you obviously know it's simulated and you're not going there for it to be serious as such mm. obviously you know you're going to enjoy it so it's serious to a point in you know within your own enjoyment but it's uh, if you I think people who are already in that mindset aren't going to then go out and become abusive to their partners I, I, mm. I think even if that does happen that would be I think that's less likely to happen than someone that's going to play for example like a Grand Theft Auto game or something you know yeah. that's, I think there, that's significantly there must be more plenty, likely there must be plenty of times in say even just a Marvel film yeah, yeah where exactly. Scarlett Johansson gets the holy bejesus beaten out of her by a predominantly male cast yeah I mean I think the first scene she was introduced in um Avengers, the first film, uh, which I've got up there actually. Uh, yeah, I think the first scene she's introduced, she's getting interrogated by two men, and she's tied yeah. up in a chair. Yeah. And if people are fine with that, and then will flock to go see the series <laughs> of films, you know, it's I don't see how this could be much different. Whereas yeah. essentially, it's the same thing, just in front of a live audience on a mm-hmm. on a in a ring. Do you call it a ring? Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. A square ring. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of like on a screen pre recorded, it's in a live audience in a ring. I mean it's so yeah. you know I don't see how it can be much different. Mm. Well, the other argument, very, very quickly before we wrap this up, yeah. was the fact that it's unrealistic in inverted commas. Right, because okay. how on earth could a woman possibly beat up a man? Right, okay. Which is a ridiculous statement anyway, because men and women all come in various different shapes and sizes. Oh, yeah. And also, it's obviously, it's not presented as whoever is the strongest wins even between two women and two men. Yeah. There is a moveset involved. There are kind of ingrained tactics, if you like. There are times when you get a seven foot three hundred pound man lose to a five foot eight guy who weighs about 120 pounds yeah <laughs> because he manages to out wrestle him or out maneuver him or out think him yeah. and outperform him so what really is the difference it's almost like in basketball when you've got everyone who's about six foot ten and then mm. every now and again you get that one guy that's like five foot one but can yeah he can get through everyone. He literally can just yeah. be like, "Yep, I'll duck under your arm. That's fine." You know, it's, yeah, it's, because yeah. he outthinks them and outplays them. Yeah, yeah, and obviously with it being predetermined, you can play that into the storyline. Yeah, they can work on a particular body part. They can use uh, speed. They can, yeah, kind of get them into a position where if the match calls for it, they can use weapons and stuff to gain the upper hand. Yeah, so I think that is quite an easy it would sort of seem like an easier argument to discount purely because there have been many many matches throughout history same with the women as well where you get kind of the the larger stockier woman losing to a short slender woman yeah. because she gets outperformed and i'm sure it wouldn't be long until you get uh i don't know how it works but i'm sure it wouldn't be long until you get not exactly a romance interest, but a romantic interest fight. <laughs> yeah, possibly. I don't, yeah, know, I I don't mean, know if you get those sorts of um, kayfabes. Ah, see, I remembered. <laughs> yeah, he did, he did <laughs> I a word. Yeah, I don't know if you get those sorts of kayfabes between men and women wrestlers, but uh, I'm sure not like EastEnders style, but you know. It used to be the case more sort of 20 years ago when this wasn't really too much of an issue, certainly in WWE. I'm kind of speaking more from WWE perspective because yeah. on the independent scene... There are plenty of matches um, that have kind of taken place even just this year between men and women and people don't even really bat an eyelid. Yeah. Um, but obviously with the WWE being a PG brand now, that's kind of, I think, why they're being quite resistant with it. But 
I mean, if anyone has seen anything that Becky Lynch has been doing, apart from being punched in the face by Nia Jax and having a broken nose, <laughs> there are plenty of men on the roster that I would really get invested in her having a match with and seeing how it plays out. Yeah. Because it, I think it would just be a very, very good, different matchup that you wouldn't see very often. Yeah, no, I agree. Mm. That could work. <laughs> mm. I think there's ways. And where that was basic. Can... That was basically what he was arguing as well. He was very much in in support of it, and was almost saying that it needs to be the next step for the women's roster, okay. so that they're not kind of shoehorned into this corner where they all fight each other because it's a much smaller roster anyway. Right, okay, they yeah. could do with breaking out of that, and not necessarily all the time, not every week, not like always being in a feud with a man all the time but every now and then just bleed one or two of them over into the men's side of things or vice versa and just kind of mix it up a bit yeah okay yeah that so, sounds all right hmm. i was just kind of interested if you had kind of an outsider's perspective but it seems like you're coming from the same point as him and the same point as me really that it's it's entertainment and we know it's entertainment yeah. And as long as we allow ourselves to just get lost in what's happening, yeah. if if it's if it's done well, as you says, do it. And if it's done badly, it doesn't really matter that it's a man versus a woman because there have been plenty of men matches that have been awful and we have to watch them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would yeah. definitely freshen it up a bit. Mm. Fair dues. Oh, thank you for your input, That's sir. That's all right. <laughs> the, uh, I will the pass beginner's the input. baton... Straight over to you then. Well, I'll probably just go back to what I was talking about earlier because uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it in any video I've ever done. <laughs> but uh, Friday the 16th of November, tomorrow t as we record, two days ago as this is released, uh, the Let's Go games for Nintendo Switch are released. First, well, not first Pokemon games on Nintendo Switch because we've got Pokemon Tournament, which is like Tekken but Pokemon. It's actually quite good. Um, okay. Uh, this is the first. I'm going to say core series game. It's not a hundred percent core. It's not like they haven't got their abilities and the items and aren't the same. And it's only Generation One Pokemon, but it's sort of like a bridge to the bigger game they're doing next year. The next right. generation game next year on the Switch. I think that's. Oh, I'm I'm booking the week off for that. I mean, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be incredible. But still. I'm going to be getting it tomorrow. I'm going to be getting Let's Go Eevee tomorrow. I'm going to be playing that, and that's going to be great. And I'm going to play all. I'm going to play for it all, just for pure entertainment and enjoyment. But also, what I'm going to be doing is um, having another user because you can have different users on the Switch. So I've got mm. I've got a Pokepid user, and um, second, I've just called it Link and put a picture of Link in from uh, from Legend of Zelda, and I've got a few get save files on there. So what I'm going to do is um, have a let's go save file on that user because you can do that. You can have multiple saves on the same console. Handy. So on that, I'm going to start recording it and try and do a sort of like let's play series. People can watch along if they want. I'll try and do like an hour at a time. I'm going to post hour long videos or 45 minutes. So it's going to, going to be <laughs> long ones, but it'll be, it'll be fun. It'll be a laugh. That'll be over the course of a good couple of months, few months probably. So, so are you gonna presumably start playing through it on your own thing first? Yeah, and then kind of go back to the beginning so that you sort of know. Yeah. What you're gonna get as you play through it? Does yeah. that make sense? Well, when I get to post, when I get to like, when I've played it for my own enjoyment, sort of uh, when I get to the post game of it, and I've explored a lot of that, and I know what what you can do post game what opens up then because i think there's the master trainers is post game i think and those master trainers are you there are 151 trainers and they'll take you on a one on one battle and you take them on with the same pokemon one on one no items allowed and if you win you become like say for example uh oh let's do pikachu for example that's a really bad example because it's the obvious one but we'll go with it <laughs> but, um there'll be a trainer in kanto somewhere that has a Pikachu and you take it on with your Pikachu one on one. Right. No items allowed. Only those two only that Pokemon 
you know, and if you win, you become like the master Pikachu trainer, and then you carry oh, on. Oh, okay. So it'll be, yeah. So I, once I think I get to that sort of level, like not level, you know, that sort of stage in the game, I'll then, alongside that for my own enjoyment, start the Let's Play series. Oh, okay. So it won't be like play it for five hours and then yeah. go back to the other save file and play like an hour or two. No, I'll I'll um. I'm going to enjoy the game because I'm in. I'm impatient. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. but what I thought I'd do is um, help um, get some help from that British guy on what that party will be for the Let's Play series. Okay. So I'm just basically going to go through all the types we now have. Some of them right will have very minimal Pokemon with them because they're new types that didn't exist in this generation. But oh, are they keeping the new types? <laughs> yeah. Right. So you you can have Alolan forms, which are which some of the Pokemon have the same type. Okay. For example, um, oh, let's get an example. And Alolan Meowth is now Dark Normal, not just Normal, to accommodate for the new types. Oh, okay. And you can bring them across from Pokemon Go on your on your phone. Mm. So it, there's there's a lot to it. There's a lot okay. you can actually do. But either way, yeah. So I'm gonna. Right, uh, yeah, I've categorised them into six groups and then categorised the types into six groups. And, it, well, mm -hmm. you'll see as we go along. Actually. What do you want, then? One from each group? Sort of, yeah. I'm going to give you three types and then you'll see a type. And then from those types, I'll give you th three Pokemon. Like, for example, the first three are Fire, Grass, Water. Okay. So uh, if you were to pick a type out of those, what would you go for? Mm-hmm. Uh, grass. Grass, there you go then, cool. So then after that, I have three grass-type Pokemon here. Mm -hmm. So I've chose Victory Bell, Tangela, and Venusaur. And I didn't... Yeah, uh, cause, yeah. I think yeah. I will say Victory Bell. Yeah, any reason? Uh, yeah, I don't want to go for um, Venusaur... Okay. Because it's the obvious one. Yeah. And I don't like Tangler. No, that's fair enough. Because it looks stupid. It looks like a 1970s Doctor Who villain. Yeah. It definitely doesn't <laughs> look like a Doctor Who villain of nowadays because there aren't any. <laughs> True. Because <laughs> there aren't any aliens anymore. Mm. Except the one that looks no. like Niffler from Futurama. But that's... <laughs> yeah. But that's... Anyway, that's a different story. That's <laughs> 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 Is that... Yeah. Um... All right, then. Well, then, the next three types I've got here are Fighting, Psychic, and Dark. Ah, I'm going to go with Dark, because oh, okay. I've got no idea who's <laughs> going to be in that. Okay, well, <laughs> in that case, there are no Dark types in the uh, Generation 1, obviously. Yeah. But Alolan, Alolan forms, which were introduced in Sun and Moon, we do have some. We've got Alolan Raticate, Alolan Persian, or Alolan Muck. And if you want to use your phone to look up what they look like, feel free. Nope, I can see them all in my head. <laughs> I'm that sad. Persian is a big meowth, isn't it, basically? Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to, um, if you want to think of just the normal versions of those. <laughs> yeah. Or I'll say original. Um, there you go. I think muck. Yeah, that's lovely. All right. Yeah, that's all right. Because I remember them being very annoying to fight, so they're <laughs> always handy to have. A lowland muck was actually pretty awesome it's um it's multicolored, but the colors drip down with its ooze if that makes sense oh that's weird it's okay yeah if you ever get a few minutes just type alolan muck gif or something and okay. you'll see it it's really good anyway all right then the next few types i've got ghost normal and steel but i employ you go with i employ you not with... to choose steel <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> because there's only two and they're the same <laughs> Oh, fair enough. I think I will go with Psychic. Okay. Uh, well, that's a way to used to wind me up. You can do, but that wasn't in that three. <laughs> wasn't it? Uh, ghost. What was it? Ghost, normal, and steel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's all right. um, ghost. Fair enough. Yeah, steel was only Magnemite and Magneton because they're now electric steel. So. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. Because t yeah, yes. technically they're. Yeah. So that would have been a very quick one. Sorry, what type did you yeah. say? Uh, ghost. Ghost. Oh, okay, then. I nearly said psychic again. <laughs> <laughs> well, ghost, we 
Ghost, interestingly, we've only got Ghastly, Haunter and Gengar, but I would happily use any of them individually, even if they weren't fully evolved. So, out of those three, Ghastly, Haunter and Gengar, what would you, uh, what would you go for? I can't think what Gengar is. Gengar, the big ghost one, purple one, spiky. Isn't that a Haunter? No, that's... Um, Haunter's like the body with the two hands, and then it evolves into Gengar. Oh, right, that's why. Okay, I'm going to go with Haunter then. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, purely because I remembered that one more. <laughs> In my top three favourite Pokemon. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, the next three types. The last set that's going to involve a type you've never heard of. So we've got Bug, Poison and Fairy. Which is a type. I <laughs> can kind of vaguely guess what's going to be in Fairy. Right. Uh, I'm going to go... Was it Poison and Bug? Yeah, Bug, Poison, Fairy. I'm going to go with Poison. Okay, then. Not quite similar ones in here. We've got Weezing, Muck and uh, Arbok. But I can swap Muck uh. out for something else if you wanted. <laughs> Actually, I actually no, I'll tell you what, interestingly, we'll go like Jesse and James. We'll go Weezing or Arbok. Okay. There you go. That makes sense. I was going to say Arbok anyway, oh, okay. so... Yep, fair enough. Yeah. That learns, a re uh, that learns Glare, which can paralyse, so that's good. Uh, All right, then. The next three, second to last three, penultimate three, I've got Rock, Ground and Electric. Uh, I think we need an element again, so I'm going to go with uh, electric. That's fair enough. Interesting ones here. I've got electrode, electabuzz, or Raichu. Raichu. Raichu, fair enough. I'm going to be getting yeah. Let's Go Eevee, but you can still catch a th Eevee and Pikachu. I don't know if you can catch both on both games. What is the difference between them, then? Um, I don't overly know yet. <laughs> All right. Is it kind of like when they had red and blue, and that you had different? Yeah. I mean, one, one of them in different yeah. places. One of them, obviously, one of them you start with Pikachu. One of them you start with Eevee. Yeah. But and then there's a couple of version exclusives, but I don't really know much after that. Okay. But anyway, the last three types then we've got are Dragon, Flying, and Ice. Dragon, Flying, and Ice. Yeah. Uh, let's go with flying. Okay, then. There's some interesting ones in here as well, actually. You've got Fero, Dodrio, mm -hmm. or Pidgeot, which I would call Pokey Pidgeot, if I got one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was hoping that they would, yeah, be the Pidgey versions, so we'll go for Pidgeot. Yeah, go for it. That'll, yeah. That could be caught right in the beginning. Pokey Pidgeot, that'll be in there. That was always one of my favourites. Yeah, I do like a it. A Pidgey. All right, then. Well, that's, uh, that is it, then. So my party for... Well, my highly influenced party, which I think I won't be able to get the Alolan forms till late on, but I will try. So my party is going to be Victory Bell, which I think you can get near the beginning, actually. I've seen it in Viridian Forest. So mm -hmm. Victory Bell, Alolan Muck, Haunter, Arbok, Raichu, and Pidgeot. That sounds all right. Hmm. I'm all right with that. Seems quite varied. Yeah, you can get loads of those early. Well, at least you could on red and blue anyway, so I'm assuming they've got yeah. similar this time. Very probably, I would have thought. All right, then. Well, that's there you go. That was my bit. I just got my uh, just wanted to get my party sorted for oh. the second run through, which I have. I haven't actually planned my part the party for my first run through tomorrow, so I'm. <laughs> I haven't thought about this. Are you not going to just kind of see what you catch as you catch it? Yeah, because I've got a feeling they're all going to be in different locations, or at least more in a location than just like Rattata and Pidgey on the first route. <laughs> I yeah, I really hope so. Yeah. yeah, and then you get Caterpie. <laughs> yeah, I've seen. I've seen. I don't know how true it's going to be to the game, but I've seen footage of like Bellsprout's Bulbasaur Oddish in Viridian Forest. That makes more sense. Yeah. So we'll see. Cool. But yeah, no thanks for that. That's all right, uh, and if yeah. it all goes horribly awful with that party, it's not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Just putting that out there now. Don't blame me. I'll, I'll call one of I'll call one of them TBG, but I don't know which one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about it. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Thank that's uh, that's all I've got to add. To be honest. Okey doke. Until next fortnight, anyway. When um. Indeed. I'm sure I'll give you a lowdown on how it's gone. <laughs> well, I'm sure we will have seen. 
a few videos by then, would we not? Yeah, and um, I've got my super secret project that follows on from the number one country for a region. I've got to do that. Oh, okay. So that wasn't the playing it through under a new. No, this is. Um, that wasn't that wasn't the super secret. No, it's um, my number one country for a region has spawned a new series of something which I will make a video of at some point next week. Cool. Yeah, which I've teased in a few videos, but no one will know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll let them know when I announce it. I'll go back when and you've been, yeah. yeah, I'll show clips oh, okay. of my previous videos and say, "Hey, look here." Cool. But yeah, and that will be what recorded next week or released next week? Uh, both. Oh, if okay. I can get myself away from the game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you see, if you see inactivity from me for the next week or so, yeah, you'll uh... <laughs> you're you're busy with a switch. Yeah, pretty much. Fair dues. But yeah, that's all I've got. Yeah, that's all I've got. Cool. <laughs> I'm well, going to go sounds... and um, share my latest video that's come on 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Lovely. All right, then. Cool. All right, well, see you in two weeks' time, then. Well, speak to Indeed. you in two weeks' time. <laughs> Enjoy your day off. Oh, I will, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I expect the game to be completed, or at least the first run through, by the time this video goes live. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> it probably will be the case, I'm thinking. I'd hope so. I, I, I yeah. at least would want to complete the Elite Four by then. <laughs> yeah, fair days. We'll see the post game. 151 battles might take a while. <laughs> well, you've got to collect them all first. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and get them strong enough. Yeah, yeah. cool. All right, then. Okay. okay, I'll see you in a fortnight. Till next time, we'll see you soon. Till next time. <laughs>